Good day, Rochester. Yeah, it is a good day. Uh, we have a great relationship with Consumer Reports here. We interview them uh, every Thursday, 8.30. And so today we got the inside scoop on uh, from them about they were coming out with the list of the best supermarkets. And right. we happen to know the one at the top of the list. Yeah, a little familiar to us. <laughs> yeah. Waggies, huge. <laughs> so now we have the opportunity to talk with senior editor uh, Mandy Walker about the supermarket survey that put Wegmans uh, number one. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Here we are, Rochester, hometown, where the Wegmans yeah. family started it all. I got to tell you, we That's have a lot of pride in our grocery stores here. What put Wegmans at number one? Yeah, and I've been at Wegmans. It is a fun store to shop <laughs> in. It got the highest score of the 55 stores that we rated. Over 27,000 people responded to the survey. So it got an 88. That's a really high score. Excellent scores for service. You know how friendly the people are, how easy it is to check out. And the perishables, so the produce and their meat, great quality. And the cleanliness of the store. And it even got a very good for prices. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we, it's funny, when people move away, when they've lived here and then they move away, they say, oh, I miss my Wegmans, but people are also yeah, always they good. they have restaurants and stores now. They yeah. do, That's yeah, great. all different kinds, it's too. It's a fun place to shop. Well, although we're yeah, always I know. You might, your favorite Italian restaurant might be there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to check that one out, but yeah, I've heard it's, I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, still, though, we are also quick to find, you know, faults with places we go all the time. Was there any, did you find out through the survey any places where you think Wegmans might be able to improve? Uh, well, Walmart uh, was the lowest scoring uh, supermarket in our survey. It's America's largest grocer, but it got an overall score of just 67. It did get a very good for prices, as you might expect, but only a fair for cleanliness, a poor for services, so that's checkout speed and how helpful the people were, mm -hmm. and perishables, so their, their meat and vegetables as well. Um, the people in the survey complained about too few open checkouts, and it turns out that many others, especially the top 20 of our survey, did as well or even better for prices than Walmart. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. Another supermarket that's very um, a big contributor to our community as well. They help out with a lot of charitable events. Is Tops? Uh, did Tops were they a part yes, of this? Yes, Tops markets. How they do? They were a part of this. They were more in the middle of the pack. Uh, their overall score was 72. They did good for service and perishables and cleanliness, but only fair for prices. Okay. When it talks about, you know, sort of being a, a good shopper, because they might be a good supermarket, but we as shoppers can improve as well. Um, we keep hearing about, you know, we talk with folks who rate, uh, like you guys, uh, supermarkets nationally, and we're often hearing that Wegmans often is on the cusp of sort of the latest technology. And uh, we can maybe be better consumers if we embrace the technology that they're putting out. That's right. A lot of stores have uh, mobile apps now that you can use on your iPhones or your Android phone, and you can make your grocery list on it. You might have manufacturer's coupons automatically applied, or whatever the store's circular is could be applied to. You just swipe it at checkout. Just let it use your phone with checkout, and you'll get all those deals. There's also a lot of other things you can do. You have to be aware of kind of tricky signs in the stores, though. Okay. Uh, signs that say, for example, 10 for 10 yogurts for ten dollars we don't probably have to get all 10 to get that deal you could probably get one for a dollar or two for two dollars um, it's also a great idea to sign up for the store's loyalty programs because sometimes they save their best deals for their loyalty customers so get those little cards and they swipe them at checkout uh, some discounts can automatically be either combined and counted up or taken right there at checkout i'm glad you mentioned you that to look for I'm glad you mentioned yeah, that because ahead. sometimes people, you know, we as consumers are, are sometimes leery of sharing our, our personal information. Um, so there's really no downside to that. you have to, to be that. comfortable with that. Yeah, you have to be comfortable with that. You have to know that they are tracking everything you buy and they're probably selling it to their partners. But, it, you know, you'll get great discounts too. So it's a trade-off you have to weigh. All right, we just have a few more seconds. You're about to make one final point. I apologize. Go ahead. That's okay. I was going to say, to make sure you check unit prices when you go in. Don't be fooled by big sale signs. You want to check those unit prices, so per 100, per ounce, per gallon, because other items on other shelves might actually be cheaper than things that say they're on sale. All right, well, it's a chore we all have to do, so we appreciate the advice, and good to know Wegman's right here in our community, ranked number one. Yay, we appreciate, as always, <laughs> meeting with Consumer Reports 830 every Thursday. Thanks for your time. Uh, sure, take care.